In this video, I'm going to be sharing the truth and nothing but the whole truth on why it may be a bad idea for you to get a PhD. So first things first, never pursue a PhD because you want to make somebody else happy. All right. Now I say this and I know if you are African like me, okay, and if you are from certain cultures, then parents have certain expectations of you. They expect that you go to school, you get to the highest levels. Usually they want you to become a doctor, a lawyer, uh, you know, an engineer, one of these professions, or they want you to finish at the highest level possible. And so the idea of pursuing a PhD in a lot of families is like a prestige, almost like a prestige thing, which I'll talk about in just a minute. However, I can assure you that if you do not get, go into your PhD with anything less than a personal interest in that PhD, you will be so frustrated throughout the whole time you're there. And I cannot even begin to explain how frustrated you'll be because getting a PhD is really hard. It's not like a walk in the park and even walking in the park is not so easy. It's not like something that you can do like today and tomorrow just to make people happy. Um, so if you're considering getting a PhD, make sure you're doing it for the right reasons and not necessarily because you make want to make people happy. Now, I'm not the one to come and tell you to disobey parents and to make parents unhappy. I'm not, that's, that's not what I'm advocating in this video. Don't go say that. Okay. <laughs> what I am saying though, is you should have a personal interest in that PhD you're pursuing. Otherwise go find something else to pursue and find a way of chatting with your family about why this is not a path you want to pursue. Now, I know for a lot of older parents, sometimes it's harder for them to get it because they may have come up in really difficult circumstances and they may have given you everything to get to this point and now you're telling them, I don't want to pursue a PhD. So if you do decide that you're not going to pursue that path, then it means that whatever it is that you're going to do, you have to wow them. <laughs> or, you know, you, you ultimately, I don't think that you should build all your life and your happiness around everybody else's expectations. But because of cultural um, expectations, sometimes there is a compromise. There is a compromise to be struck. However, I don't think you should do it just to make other people happy. If you do it just to make other people happy, I can assure you, sis, bro, you will be very unhappy. Number two bad reason to pursue a PhD is thinking that getting a PhD will make you more money. <laughs> no. So, you know, I wish that well, that wasn't the case. I wish that wasn't true. Now, it is true that getting a PhD will um, increase your potential to make money. Okay. It will increase your potential to make money. But like everything that has potential, potential is never really the real thing. <laughs> so there are opportunities for you to, for instance, if you stayed in academia, for you to rise through the ranks, get to a full time tenured professor position, and you know, then you'll be living the cushy life. But getting that is hard. And that I think there's a statistic out there. I'll look for it and put it out. I didn't look for it before this video, but you'll see it right here that about 90 plus percent of people that finish PhDs don't actually get themselves academic positions. And if they do, most of the time they're, they're an adjunct at like a community college or at a public college or even some private colleges now have part-time or adjunct faculty. And when I'm an adjunct faculty right now, and when you're in this role while it's great employment and if you like teaching you will enjoy the role and a lot of the time when you go to apply for academic positions they want to see that you have some teaching experience so getting an adjunct faculty position i think is a great way for you to gain that experience however even as an adjunct right you do a lot of work for very little pay you know, and I can tell you that right now, I'll do another video on adjunct faculty pay, but it's, it's, it's very little for how much education you have and how much work you put in. Um, and so if you're thinking that you want to do this because you're going to get a professor position and then you're going to live the cushy life, I'd like you to disabuse your mind of that narrative because 
in most cases it's not true so if you're pursuing the phd simply because you want to increase your earning potential please don't do it i encourage you to go find some certification programs some better your skills learn some additional skills you know there's so many tools out there these days for you to learn additional skills for you to get certifications that can then increase your income potential without going through the rigor of a PhD program. I touched on this one, this point in my first point, again, do not get a PhD just for the prestige of it. Okay. If you just want a doctor in front of your name. Okay. Yeah. You know, you can do it for that reason, but if it, that's all you're doing it for, please don't do it. And then this one is really, really important. If you think you will not go in, into academia, then maybe getting a PhD is not very helpful now. I know, I know a few people just were like, whoa, wait over there, Gertrude. You can get a PhD and still work in industry and in bank and in business. This is true. This is true, okay? You can get a PhD and not work in academia because you have no interest in working in academia and this is fine. But I think that for people that, are, if you're listening to me right now, if you're watching this video right now, if you do not think that getting, um, you want to get into academia to teach, then I would say, please look elsewhere for other opportunities to feather your education. So for instance, maybe you are a nurse and you don't want to go into academia. When I say academia, we're not talking about teaching. I'm also talking about research. If you don't plan on teaching and doing a whole bunch of extensive research, a PhD may not ne be necessary. So in that case, you want to look at other paths that you can pursue. So for instance, if you have a nursing background, you could look at maybe getting a nurse practitioner degree. You could look at doing something else within the nursing profession, but don't go get a PhD simply because you think it's the next step or because you think it's somehow going to magically make it better. I don't know, whatever it is, but really sit down and this is going to be like a segue into okay g so <laughs> you said we shouldn't go get this phd because it's a bad idea that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying <laughs> these are bad reasons to go get a, a phd but if you um you know you're thinking about whether you should do a phd or something else i really want you to sit down and evaluate what you want your what your career goals are for the next five years and i know sometimes that can be hard to imagine but just even if you have like a vague idea of like two or three career paths you want to pursue really think about whether or not a phd is going to be helpful and what i want you to do then is find people on those career paths and chat with them okay find people on those career paths and chat with them there are people nowadays who are making six figures and even more you know, multiple six figures who don't have PhDs, who don't maybe even have a master's degree. And yet they're doing, they're thriving in their professions, right? So you may want to talk to people like this and find out how did you get into this profession? What path did you take? What kind of experiences did you seek out? Have informational interviews with people and learn, okay, what they did. And when you do that, I think you will be better equipped with the information that you need to make a decision as to whether a PhD is a good path or not. If any of these reasons I say in this video is why you're pursuing a PhD, I'm gonna tell you right now, stop it. If you enjoy this video, I'd love it if you gave me a thumbs up and what do you mean you're not subscribed? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button.